Hello, my name is Robin Bennett and I'm the author of Monster Max. And this is Monster Max wearing a particularly nice uh, bubble hat this morning. Today we're going to be making slime. Now the reason we're making slime is because it reminds me of the Marmalade Ghost. And the Marmalade Ghost is my new book about Monster Max which is coming out on the 3rd of February. Not only that, but the slime that I'm making today you can win in your very own win a tub of Monster Max slime competition which I'll tell you about later. First of all, how do we make slime? Well, there's loads of ways to make slime, um, I'm told. There's um, glue, which you can use. You can, if you don't have glue, you can use shampoo. There's something called borax, which is known as the activator. But if you don't have borax to hand, you can use lots of things. Um, I'm gonna use today something called magic liquid. Actually, uh, I, <laughs> I prefer magic liquid. Borax sounds a bit like a baddie. Um, just to make my slime more interesting, I'm going to put in some dye, some Monster Max. So I'm going to do about half a litre of slime today and see how that goes. So we pour the glue. Into our thing. It's quite difficult to see, but we're nearly there. There we go, half a litre. Fantastic. All that fantastic gloopy stuff into our mixing bowl. I quite like this because it's quite messy, which is always good fun. Uh, as I say, you don't need glue, you can use shampoo as well. Um, and you can use shaving foam. The main thing is to say is you have your activator and then your glue or your shaving foam or your shampoo and that's what will make it work. Right, um, I've just had a thought. I better take my jumper off because this is a bit messy. So bear with me a second. Good, right, so uh, next we need to get our activator. Now I've put in about 500 mil into there. So in order to make 500 mil, I'm gonna need 60, I'm gonna need 120 mil of the magic liquid. Um, maybe a bit more. Um, let's see how we go. The mixing can be done with a mixer. I prefer to mix it with my hands. There we go. So that's 60, so if we'll do another 120, there we go. Okay, let's start mixing that and see how we go. Yeah, fantastic. Whilst I'm doing this, I'll tell you about the competition. After I've made this and let it set, and slime takes a few days to set and become really fun, you can go on the Firefly website, or the Monster Max website, and details will be at the end, and look to see how to enter the competition. Right, this is beginning to feel really good and gloopy. I mean, it's all about, it's all about how it feels, isn't it? Uh, there we go. So next, we're going to add the colouring. Now the colouring is orange because the marmalade ghost in Monster Max and the marmalade ghost is orange. So it makes me think of that. And this is a good, fun way of recreating the marmalade ghost without wasting a lot of oranges. Here we go. Nearly there. Luckily, I have chosen washable glue. So I can use this dishcloth and I won't get into trouble for ruining perfectly good dishcloths. At the same time, I think it's time to pour in some of our dye. Now the dye that I'm using 
is what the internet told me was best to use. Um, it's a non-toxic dye or powdered dye um, which is made from epoxy resin. Um, uh, when it says non-toxic obviously you still can't eat it or anything like that. Now this epoxy has got sort of like sparkles in. Um, I think you might be able to see it there. I don't know. Um, and that I uh, hopefully is going to make the 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 um, the slime nice and sparkly. So let's see. I'm going to get go for something really orange. There we go. Put in a dash more. There we go. Start mixing that. What do you think of that then, Max? Max is very impressed. Yes! <laughs> it really is very, very gloopy. You can look after the glue. Just like a marmalade ghost. Look! Wow! With young children, we made a lot of slime and I've completely forgotten what good fun it is. <laughs> that, I think, is very nearly ready. So, do the finishing touches and I'm going to put that in a tub if I can find a tub. There we go. There we go. The mixing bowl. It's going to be a little bit of washing up to do. And the last thing we need to do, I believe, is put this in the fridge. So here we go. So kids, so that's how you make slime. Uh, very easy, quite messy, but great fun. It's looking pretty good. Nice and squidgy, the slime. Lovely orange colour. Very gloopy indeed. It's like a giant sock and very scary. So, very happy with that. Now, what I need to do is put it into little tubs for you guys. So, I already started doing a few that I had with another batch. And what you find with slime, and I really like this, is after a little bit, once you put it in, it goes nice and flat like that. Just like that. And I find the best way it's just to rip it off. Uh, yeah. Little added extra for you guys. I got some Monster Max stickers there to go on the tubs. And these look rather great, I think. Here we go. So, one on the top. Nice and clean. And... I've got some smaller ones that go on the bottom that say Max's motto to protect and do good stuff. There we go. That's on the bottom. And uh, I hope you like your Monster Max slime. Bye bye.